Welcome everyone. So today I'm going to be looking at a game in VR. Um, so this is for graded exposure um, for um, phobia of spiders. Um, we're going to be seeing if this works. There's some bad reviews on the store. So let's have a look and see if this would work and whether it sticks to CBT principles. Right. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. Um, I'm going to try and speak up so this should be much louder looking in here. So as you can see already in the distance we've got pictures of, of spiders um, and we've got this big plaque here, a spider bite. Uh, that's not so good. Those are symptoms of a spider bite. That is not what you should be doing in exposure therapy. Sorry, I'm hitting my mic. As you can see, I'm very new, new to this. Um, so. Um, in this, um, what we're doing then, uh, so hello visitor, we are pleased that you took your courage and found your way into our tiny little office. It is very important for your own safety that you read the instructions below carefully. You're about to have one of one or more encounters with some very dangerous creatures that will probably cause some fear at first sight. Be very cautious with your next steps, because those creatures are of the most deadly sort, extremely venomous and very aggressive. Well, first of all, you're not going to be wanting to expose to extremely venomous uh, spiders. You just don't need to do that. Um, it's about being functional in, in, in everyday situations. It's not about being able to go through the jungle in Australia. Um, so already, we, we, I'm, I'm not so sure. Um, we have an antidote. Oh my god, am I going to have to inject myself? Okay, I'm actually, uh, at the moment, I'm kind of through my body. I think I'm going to hit my uh, mic here, so I'm going to be a bit careful. I'm actually through my body, so I'm going to have to come into position here. Uh, and I've gone through the wall a little bit here. So hopefully you're not seeing all these lines everywhere like it is on mine. Um, right, so, um, so, as a precaution, we have an antidote. That's not cool. You can control your exposure level by looking at red or green box on the control paper that is in front of you. Now put your hands on top of the table, in front of you, be strong, you are free to leave the office at any time. You know, take no responsibility for injuries or sudden death. Okay, not the best intro, but let's have a look. So if we open up this, so we can have a look at bringing some spiders in. Okay. And it's loading up exposure level one. Right, okay, so we've got a spider here. So I'm not a massive fan of spiders, but I wouldn't say I was spider phobic. Um, and yeah, that is that is quite lifelike. And not particularly very nice. Maybe I'm more, more afraid of spiders than I thought. Um, yeah, not a big fan of that. So they've started small. Um, so if you're doing graded exposure, you would be doing uh, 30 to 40 minutes of sitting with this if it raises your anxiety up to 40 if you know kind of sorry to about 7 or 8 out of 10 anxiety then you'd want to kind of stay with that until it's reduced by about half uh, you want to make sure it's prolonged um, for that time you want to make sure it's repeated so you do this two three times a week um, you want to make sure it's graded so you start slowly and work yourself up so don't jump straight up to the next one if this one's causing a lot of anxiety it's not a game, this is about exposure therapy. And whatever that's for, don't get to that if you're afraid of spiders. Um, right, just for this one, so I'm not going to do exposure therapy today, so I'm not going to go to a level that makes me really anxious. But I can take that quite easily, so I'm going to go up to the next one just to show you. But it's going to be on the next video that I, I really sit with a fearful situation. Okay, uh, that's manageable. Not particularly very nice, but manageable. I think I've got to have my hands like this. I think that adds to it as well. So one of the main uh, principles of exposure is without distraction. So not distracting yourself. I might be distracting myself by talking. If I was doing pure exposure, I'd just be looking at the spiders. And my hands are not moving. That's quite a good solid position as well. Close enough. Um, that you you are you aren't hiding from the spiders. Again, a bit worried about the next step because of this first aid and poison antidote thing. 
That's not good. That's not going to get you over your spider phobia. Don't go to that level. So I'm going to stop there today. Um, I will introduce a proper level where I'm I'm anxious, and I'll show you how you properly do it for 30, 40 minutes, and I'll guide you through it as a therapist. Um, but for today, that's plenty. You can see what it is. You can see how to do it safely. Be a bit careful. That's not helpful. You, what's going to happen to a bite? Well, unless you maybe um, maybe you're in Australia or America. Uh, in UK, you don't need that kind of information. Um, that's not going to help you. Uh, again, maybe this was made with America or Australia uh, in, in mind. Um, but even then, I'd just be saying stay away from dangerous spiders. Right, okay. So hopefully you've heard that all okay. And welcome to my first video on VR graded exposure. In our next one, we'll be going for a whole exposure. My heart rate will go up. You'll be able to see me on camera, and I'll show you how you do it. Okay, well, until next time, uh, all the best, and farewell.